My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at the new broadcast control feature in Adobe Connect. Broadcast control is like a virtual green room for your virtual room. It enables your hosts and your presenters to speak privately and to see each other on video without that video or audio being broadcast to the participants in the room. It's ideal before and after a session where you want to maybe test your audio or video or debrief after a webinar or virtual classroom. Let me show you how it works. I've got a room open here and I can enable broadcast control by going down to preferences and choosing broadcast control at the bottom of my preferences menu. Here I'm able to turn on broadcast control and I've also got an option which is on by default to sync the session recording with the broadcast. This means I won't have to remember to start the recording. As soon as I begin broadcasting, Adobe Connect will automatically start recording my session. When I end the broadcast, Adobe Connect will also automatically end the recording. So I no longer have to remember to do any of that manually. A quick note here that mobile users will need the latest version of the mobile app to join a room that has broadcast control enabled. Now that I've enabled it, I'm going to hit done. And I can see that my broadcast is not yet live. So Adobe Connect is telling me here that hosts and presenters will not be heard or seen by the participants in the room. Let's take a look at the participant experience. I've got Lisa here who's joined the room as a participant and she sees a message saying that the broadcast will begin shortly and that she'll see the live content when the host starts the breakout. But Lisa's still in the room. She can interact with the chat. She can fill out the poll pods. She's seeing all of the content. She's just not seeing or hearing the hosts and presenters. You can see here a link to start the broadcast control. The broadcast control features are all backstage in the host and presenter area. So I can click this link to open that up or obviously choose host and presenter area from my meeting menu. Here, this shows me the broadcast control widget, and this gives me the number of participants in the room. You'll notice this does not include hosts and presenters. It just includes participants. And I've got an option here to start the broadcast. If I add a video to my room while the backstage area is open, uh, I'm able to test my video. I can turn on my video and I see a little message saying that participants cannot see or hear you. So you can not only test audio, but you can also test video, even having the video pod on stage without participants hearing or seeing any of the presenters or hosts. When I'm ready to get started, I can hit start broadcast. It will, because I chose this option in the preferences, uh, automatically start recording the session when we begin the broadcast. Of course, I can turn this off if I don't want to start the recording, but I'll hit confirm. And I'm given a countdown timer to get ready to start the broadcast. Once that hits zero, we start the recording and we start broadcasting the audio. Now that we're broadcasting, participants in the room can see and hear any hosts and presenters. Over here, backstage, I've still got access to my broadcast control features. I can make this a little smaller if I want the minified view. I've also got the ability to pause the broadcast. If I do this, I can also choose to pause the live recording so that whatever I'm saying now does not get picked up in the recording. Um, I can also end the broadcast after the session, and this will automatically stop the recording. We're now back into our virtual green room. I can see a message here that we're no longer broadcasting and participants can no longer see or hear the presenters. And over here on Lisa's screen, she sees a message saying that the broadcast has ended. Again, this is ideal for debriefing with your hosts and presenters after a session without having any of the participants see or hear them. That's a quick look at the new broadcast control features in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.